Shalom everybody, it's Rabbi Tobin here at Bnei Shalom. I'm in the Sanctuary Garden, which was dedicated so many years ago in the celebration of the 60th wedding anniversary of Miriam and Morris Hammer, a blessed memory for whom our campus is named. I do want to do something this year, since it's such a strange year, that I haven't really done in the past. And I'm going to tell you before the holidays what my sermons are about. The reason is, quite frankly, the rabbi's job this year is not easy. The topics for the sermons are clear to me. I knew what I have to talk about from the beginning. But the risk of being misunderstood and the risk of being prejudged in these difficult times, politically, not religiously, is high. And so I want to immunize me and you from jumping to conclusions. On the first day of Rosh Hashanah, the title of the sermon will be Law and Ordinances. I recognize that this resonates with the law and order debate or discussion or whatever you want to call it going on in our country. And that's intentional because there's a deep ethical and moral aspect to a society that has law and order and what Judaism has to say about those topics. On the second day of Rosh Hashanah, I'm going to speak about justice. And that is gonna be the point of view of the widow and the orphan and the stranger the image of God, racial justice and economic justice in the world. Now, this may sound political as well. And in fact, in many ways it is because the organization of society according to justice is a Torah concern and what political system could possibly ignore that. And in our day, the political system is aflame and alive with calls for justice. And so we are going to look at the Jewish, the Torah view of justice, racial justice, social justice, economic justice. On Yom Kippur, some of you will be relieved to know there will be no political content. On Yom Kippur, we're going to be talking about what happened to us this year. We're going to be talking about memory and love and loss and heroes and COVID and how does Judaism survive and why must it? And what does a synagogue mean in our lives? And how can we stay in contact and connected in these difficult times? So I hope that you come to all of our services and don't just pick the one you think you're gonna agree with like you choose your news channels on cable. Please come thinking that you're going to hear something you didn't know to broaden the common values we all share, law and order, justice, memory and love. These are all things in which we are all deeply invested. There are differences of opinion and the Torah has a point of view. I will hold myself to the standard of what the Torah has to say. And I hope that you will too. Shana Tova. I can't wait to see you in the holidays.